Hello. Welcome to the midweek devotional and prayer from the Second Congregational Church of Stafford at West Stafford. Today we're going to read something from Mary Lutie, who is a longtime seminary educator and pastor and the author of Teresa of Avila's Way and numerous other uh, publishings. We're going to talk about a word that we really haven't talked about in a long time. We, we hear it sometimes, but it's not in common use anymore. And that would be the word abide. We'll start out with a reading from scripture from John's Gospel, the 15th chapter, verse 4. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Abide. Just about the only time you hear that word these days is in church. Hardly ever in daily speech. As Dune Luking once observed, baseball announcers never sum up an inning by saying, a hit, a walk, and two men abiding on base. Motel signs don't invite you to abide with us tonight. The word belongs to another time. And yet abide might just be the saying, saving word of this age. So much discarded duty, so much abandoned promises, human ties frayed, tissue thin, no one stays. It's turn and walk away through the wreckage of lies. To continue, to hang in, to last, to stick, to abide, is rare. No wonder the word has all but disappeared. Except, of course, on the lips of Jesus, where it remains steady and resilient promise and presence through thick and thin, faithful belonging through cross and grave. A precious word abide, first risked on Judas, Peter, and the rest, at supper on that fateful night, the night they betrayed, abandoned, and denied, the night that they did not stay. But he did. He remained for them, with them, in them, no matter what. Early the next morning and late into the evening, he sought them, a new world, a new day. Unhinged powers will always do their worst, but they won't abide. They just don't last. Now Jesus says, now to bear fruit, now to leaven the world with steadiness. Now to abide. Let's pray together. Living Christ, abide in us. May your abiding make ours possible. Help us to remain, to last and outlast wrong. Until the fruit we bear, by your grace, repairs this broken world. Amen. I hope you will join us, join us for worship on Sunday. And I apologize for the background noise. The door, the outside door to the parish house is being replaced. So I hope you will abide while that is done. Have a good day.